Hello everybody, my name is Mike. I'm a machinist by trade, but I love to mess with electronics and Arduinos. I work in a factory where we print packaging material like potato chip bags. We just print the film. Um, last year we started getting in new presses and we started tearing out the old presses. Well, when we tear out the old presses, we would keep these stepper drives, these stepper motors. Okay. Also, pretty good sized motor there. They ran the they ran the what they call the printing decks on there, and where there was like there were eight of those. There were no, there were sixteen per deck per press. Also, they ripped out. The motor drives for these. In the Arduino world, they call this a driver. In the manufacturing world, they call this a drive. It's a stepper motor drive. Well, I work in the maintenance department at that factory and I do repair work. I, If something breaks down, I, I'm the machinist and what I do there is I make new parts. Well, I've got a conventional mill there. It's got one drive motor on the x-axis an old DC motor that you can go back and forth well I was I decided hey I thought maybe I'd put this retrofit a couple of these on that old mill well I didn't want a full-fledged CNC I just wanted some power feed and eventually I wanted to put uh, you know power feed where you go one way control the control the speed you go one direction and the other um, eventually I'd like to put them on all three axes get rid of that old DC drive I would eventually like to put a rotary dial uh, a dial uh, rotary encoder on there and maybe an LCD output uh, out readout so I did some investigation and found out that the then I found the easy driver, they're little bitty drivers that you buy for Arduino that run the little stepper motors. Those that code will run will operate with these drives. The same code that runs easy driver will operate with these drives. And a lot of these drives smaller you can get on eBay and stuff. So anyway, I started researching and looking for code. So I I, I, I gathered some code together to do a five button uh, output. I got some code off of a website. I'll put the. I'll post the website down below. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of the website. Uh, looks German or something. But anyway, I want to show you how this thing drives with five buttons and a and a a, a potentiometer. And uh, eventually, I'm going to video that. When I get that mill done, which will probably be next week or two, I'm gonna video that mill running with an Arduino and this these big drives. But right now, I want to demonstrate uh, that code with the smaller stepper and the uh, and the easy drive. I'm gonna put the information and and the code. I got the code to do this off of, off of like a website. I told you, and it's an easy driver code. But I had to modify it to work with uh, to work with five buttons instead of three, and I had to fool around because I don't know a whole, whole, whole bunch about code. But I had to mess around and tweak and move around and, and edit the existing code to get it to work for me. I also eventually, and I haven't done this yet, I, I need to put some uh, some limit switches on there so that the bed doesn't you know overdrive. And I'll do that later, but right now I just want to show you the five buttons I've got. Okay, here we are at my build bed, build area. This is my test bed I make, my test circuit, prototype. And this is where I test everything and build it before I put it on, before I try to, to mount it to my milling machine in that big stepper and big stepper driver. Okay, here's my stepper motor. Here is my Uno. Uh, Arduino Uno. Here is the easy driver board. Neat little board. Love it. 
Now the code that I, the existing code I had would run these three buttons, which is a, a one direction, a stop, and then another direction, and then this potentiometer. Okay, but I wanted to add jog buttons. So here's my two jog buttons. So I had to edit the code, which it took me a while because I don't know know a whole lot about code to get these two jog buttons to work with the existing code. So I actually took the existing code, copy and paste it, and then edited it. And I'll show you that how I did that later to get these two buttons to go. Like I said, these two buttons are jog buttons. Let me demonstrate for you. This goes one direction. See that? And then it'll stop. Then I can stop it. Then this will go the other direction. Then I can stop it. I can go one direction and go real fast. See how fast that goes? And you can edit the speed according to your your uh, sketch. That's so cool. I can get it just to creep, man. Or I can get it creeping. See that? Just creeping. And I can even get my bigger stepper motor to creep even better. All right. Now here's my jog buttons that I added, added to it. See that? And then it just stops. I push it, and when I let go, it stops. These over here, when I push them, they just keep going until I hit the stop button. But these two buttons, when I let go, they'll stop. And you can speed it up. Let me push it and speed it up. And it'll stop. That way when I'm moving my tooling into place, I can just slow it down. Let me get it going here. Slow it down. I can just jog this into place. See? Like that. And get my tooling next to my cutting. And then I can do what I need to do before I start running the, these feeds. Okay. Now, I seen a guy on YouTube who was having trouble with a, a rotary encoder dial and uh, I think that th he, he couldn't get it to run right. He was wanting to put a camera on top of his car to chase storms so that he could manipulate the camera around, rotate the camera around with either servo or whatever. Well, I think that this would help him out. He could mount a cam. You can mount a camera on top of your car and use these two buttons in this pot to uh, to move the camera. Uh, you could probably do it in all kinds of situations. Um, next, we're going to go to the code screen. So meet me over there here in a second. Okay, before we go to the code screen, I want to uh, show you what I've done with these two jog buttons as far as using pull-down resistors. They have pull-down resistors in them. When I was learning Arduino, I was taught to use pull-down resistors in the tutorials I used and in the elementary sketches I learned on. Well, it, didn't, it, it wasn't until I learned about this code the, this code here that I learned that these three buttons use pull up resistors that are internal to the UNO. I didn't know that. So uh, I went ahead and used the uh, pull down resistors instead of the pull up resistors that are internal with the, with this card here. And uh, that will show up on the code. And I'll show you that in the code because you'll see in the sketch that uh it actually tells you about pull-up resistors. So I just wanted to share that before we went to that screen. Okay, I'd like to show you all. I'd like to start off with the web page that I got this code off of, the sketch. And it's called Easy Driver Examples. The URL is right here. I'll put a link down here. Um, on the web page here on YouTube. This this web page starts off with some basic Arduino uh, 
basic Arduino stepper motor drive code. This code is this code right here is straight out of Arduino code. No big deal. You don't push buttons. Same thing here with this moving back and forth. You don't push any buttons. Uh, you just push the reset on the Arduino and it starts running. But no control over it. Right here I'd like to, to tell you about Excel Stepper uh, pre-built library, which is awesome. And this is what the code runs off of. The code I'm using just runs out to a library, grabs that information, and runs that stepper. I haven't done anything special. I'd like to learn code later on, but right now I'm just kind of getting my feet wet. Uh, this this code right here runs multiple motors, and you get the idea as you look at the code. You start seeing, hey, it's just add more stuff to the code, more lines. Uh, I plan on doing that later on, but let's get down to the code I started with. This is the code I started with. Change motor speed. It only had like three buttons. And here it is. You'll see it right there. Uh, it's on a breadboard made by Fritzing and uh, created using Fritzing. Uh, here's the code right here. And I want to show you right here that they use, you see this right here where it says sign one, sign minus one, and sign zero. Sign one, if sign one, it makes the motor go one direction. Uh, if minus one, it makes the motor go the other direction. And all that is done in the Excel uh, library. You don't see it. It's all done in the background. It goes out there and fetches it. Okay. And then else if sign zero, it's the stop button. Well, here's the original code. that it used. And what I did was pretty much take, you see this sign star? I pretty much took that out of the code. Let's go to the code I edited. And here we go. We're back to the code I edited. Let's go on up to the top. And here's uh, the pins that I added. I added these two right here. Okay, I added that for my uh, jog button. These three were originally in the original code, and you'll see it, input, pull-up. They use pull-up resistors. These two, I entered myself. These are the two that I use for uh, pull-down resistor with pull-down resistors. Let's see what else you can do here. You see this right here? You can change the speed of your maximum uh, stepper. Change the speed of your maximum stepper. Let's move on down. Uh, here's their code right here, like I talked about before. Here's that sign. Now, here's what I added. I took this right here, this else, if else statement, and I edited it and put this in there. And when I got this done, I was so happy. I was like, hey, it works, man. It, it was exciting. So what I did was I took that out, that out, like I said, and I put, you see this current speed right there? That's, there's no minus current speed. There's no minus current speed in the original code. Well, I put it in here and put a minus, and hey, it went the other direction, and in this one, there is no minus. And whatever buttons you want to do, you could swap out the negative on it. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. My next part of this video, the very end, I'm going to have it uh, a video of it working on the milling machine. And I can't wait to show that to you. Thank you very much. Happy Arduinoing.